Hi, my name is Steven, and I have a problem with my 3D printer. It's fucking go. So hear me out, okay? I got this printer about two years ago off of Amazon for 400 to 500 bucks. I thought it would be very simple, a nice investment. You just send off your designs and the printer prints it out, right? What the hell is this? And actually, I'm not the only one facing this issue. A lot of people who are new to the 3D printing world face those issues, especially if you own a very cheap 3D printer like myself. Because it's made by a Chinese manufacturer, not that there's anything wrong with Chinese manufacturers, but it's just not the high. More failures than the Jamaican space program couldn't even print the basic test prints yeah, provided. The, the whole thing shakes, it's not very stable, the parts are super janky, they're not very precise, they're extremely loud, and that's obviously not something you would get if you were to spend a couple more thousands of dollars on a more expensive 3D printer. But unfortunately, mm, I ain't got the money for that. So this is why I've decided that I will upgrade and modify this, even though it's gonna cost me more money, I think it's gonna be worth it. Shut up. I think it's maybe more worth it. Um, so wait. let's dive into the, let's dive into the video. So let's let's get started. So let's get let's get started. Let's get into it. The first thing I upgraded was the bed of the 3D printer. I switched out the stock glass bed with one made by Creality. And hopefully, I will be getting better adhesion with my upcoming prints. Okay, so one of the main things that's been freaking bugging me is how much this thing, it sounds like it's farting, the filament holder, when it rotates. Like, like listen to this. Yeah, so I'm gonna switch that with, with some ball bearings that I got from Amazon. And so that way it turns very nicely and smoothly. And that's gonna be really fun. Thank <laughs> you. 
So we are finally done with all the upgrades for my 3D printer. Now, the printer is still not perfect. There are still a couple of upgrades I need to work on. Mainly, the printer is super loud when I'm printing. So in a future upgrade, I will need to switch out the fans, the power supply, and the motor drivers to quiet the whole thing down. But I'm kind of broke right now after spending like 200 bucks on all these upgrades. So that might take a while. But for now, I'm super happy with the way my printer turned out. I can consistently get great prints and my experience with it is just fantastic. So you might be asking, 
What am I going to be using this printer for? Well, I'm working on a couple other YouTube videos where I'll be using my upgraded 3D printer to pump out some designs for some gadgets and some robots. So make sure you're subscribed for that if you wanna watch that, those videos. This is one of my first videos on YouTube and I really appreciate feedback. So let me know what you thought down in the comments below. And feel free to leave a thumbs up or thumbs down if you enjoyed or disliked the video. Lastly, I wanna give a quick shout out to CS Wilson Prints and Scott, whose videos originally inspired me to, ins to upgrade my 3D printer. I put all the links to my mods and upgrades in the description. So if any of you are interested in making similar upgrades to your 3D printer, well, you can check it out below. That's all for now and I'll see you later.